Yo, welcome Frony. So today I'm going to show you how to max out the value in your battle pass and what to buy with your own eight coins so you have the most out of your currency. Some people in stream were surprised when I was opening the Zenith Star shop and they're like, hey, wait, wait, where is that shop? So the way the battle pass works is actually it's not the goal to get the battle pass maxed out to level 50. It's actually once you have that done, the battle pass actually starts. So even though you are at 50, you will still do all your dailies in the battle pass, all your weeklies, basically everything, because this will give you this currency here, the star crystal. And that can then be spent in the star Zenith Star shop. And now let's talk about what What's the best resources that you can buy here and in which priority order you should purchase the certain goods that you have here. The best value is the resistance contracts extra coin pass that is giving you 10 contracts at the price of 30 each then afterwards you will go to the more expensive one here you will buy the extra contract for 50 each but it's still better to do that as a second than any other thing. Next up what you want to be purchasing are the trade conversion stones. Those have a high lucent value because it can help you save items that are otherwise useless and turn them into a really valuable item. Then if you are a free to play player and you need to sell more goods basically for lucent, it's also viable to go for the trade extraction stone right here. What's also not too bad to buy is that basket. If you are still on the way trying to get your cooking all the way upgraded to level 20, but be aware that some of the goods that are here they can be farmed also at a quite good pace in game so only do this if you really want to push your cooking the rest that is in here is not really worth it because the abundance fruit that is giving you 30 percent solent um you can just go and craft yourself the 50 percent solent food so it's not that worth it so every coins that you have over you cannot take those coins into the next pass you will either spend them on solent directly or you will spend them onto the mastery reports to increase the mastery of your weapons depending on what is more of your need then if you still have coins left but that's fairly unusual usual you would go and just buy some of the resources down here this is the priority order of value in that pass sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe and if we are going to the shop and we're going to the ornate version, we will now find an additional shop with the ornate coin currency. And here the most valuable out of them are the precious blessing pouches. And those ornate coins, other than the battle pass, they are like staying forever on your character. And this shop has a monthly reset. So here you do not want to spend all your coins every month. You want to do it a bit more wisely. So precious, precious blessing pouch always if you're still upgrading your skills your next priority will be the skill books if you are still upgrading your armor or your accessories you will buy the stones here you will never buy the weapon stone upgrading your weapon to plus nine is really easy with the resources you're getting even double purple you can do it with all the resources that you're getting during the leveling and the start so never buy those they are not worth it if you are a free to play player this will allow you to turn great items with useless traits into lithographs that sometimes sell for a lot of lucent so that one is really good next is the trade extraction stone if you're free to play because this will allow you to sell more lucent and then last would be the fishing bait chest in priority if you really want to max out your fishing to level 20 but I would not recommend to do it unless you really, really want to do it fast. There's ways to get the fishing bait easy without having to spend your ornate coins. My strategy is going to be I always want to have enough ornate coins for the monthly reset. So at the start of the next month, I can buy my enchanted ink, my pouches, here my stones and my books right away on day one. And um, yeah. This is why I'm currently also saving the ornate coins and not go deeper into buying anything else. So in the next months, sometimes there's like maybe not enough supply, right? In a month, you don't have the time. You have enough stacks, so you can always get the max value every month. Yeah, guys, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.